Okay, here we are back in Legend of Heroes Trails and Reverie, and after finishing that magical girl crap, I did cash out my stones, I forgot to show that. I got, I think it's an Ocean Bell, it's a super rare water quartz, and it's actually pretty nice. Other than that, the rest of the stuff is junk. Um, we're going to do Wishes of a Witch, and then I'll probably hop into the main game, since I don't think we have anything more to do here. For the rest of these, I'll just do them post-game, or when I have some downtime, I'll pop in, knock a couple out. But you'll probably see them... Yeah, it's it's gonna be weird because I still have to do my tour of Crossbell, which I know it's gonna be like two parts: inside Crossbell, outside Crossbell, and maybe quests for a third part. Oh, wait for me! Oh dear, this is why I told you not to run, Master. Come quick! Oh, what's all the fuss? Oh, you poor thing, you've grazed your knee. It hurts, Mommy. Make it go away with your magic. Mm, mommy knows just the spell for this. Hit her with a stick. She won't notice the knee anymore. Pain, pain, go away. Huh? That's not magic, Master. <laughs> Maybe not, but it works just like it. Pain, pain, go away. Once more for good measure. Go away. No, it's that time she didn't specify the pain. She was just telling the kids to scram. I spent my early years in an ordinary town. My mother was from a remote region, but moved there after marrying my father. And although he died not long after I was born, my mother chose to remain there, and we lived as a happy family of two. Of course, given my tender age, I understood little of the situation. I had no way of knowing where my mother was born either. All I ever concerned myself with was the two of us, and the elder cousin who came to play every so often. They were my world. Yet, as with all Halcyon days, they were not destined to last. What did you just say? I said that Isola won't be coming back again. She's gone somewhere far, far away. Too far for any of us to go and pick her up. That can't be true. Mommy would never just leave me. She wouldn't. I won't tell you not to cry. But considering that her blood flows within you, you have a right to choose the life you want to lead. Come with me to your mother's home, the village of Aaron. Meet your familiar. She's going to be family to you from now on. Give her a name, Emma. What a pretty black kitty. A name. What about Celine? Suits me well enough. Nice to meet you, Emma. You're going to become a first-rate witch with me at your side. I won't accept anything less. Nice to meet you too, Celine. I'm gonna be just like Mommy one day, you'll see. Even Griano seems to be celebrating. It's been a long time since I last saw Emma this happy. Now we can breathe easier, if only a little. Agreed, it's up to us to watch over her now. I've got Vita, my grandmother, and even Celine at my side now. So it wouldn't be fair for me to complain about being lonely. Vita's gone? Griano's too, and he didn't even try to stop her? That foolish girl. What was she thinking throwing her lot in with the society of all things? Should have seen the signs earlier. How could I have been so blind? I'm always like this, always failing to notice what matters until it's too late. Just forget about her, Emma. She has nothing to do with us anymore. You need to think about... Emma. Damn it, Rose, you idiot. Why did everyone leave me all alone? Why? First Mom, then Vita? Wish I was stronger. Wish I was strong enough to fight the urge to cry. You're not alone, Emma. You're now ready to handle the truth, so awaken, my darling daughter. A dream. I remember now. I was cleaning Grandmother's room, and then... Haven't had that dream in quite a while. The one where I have to relive, relive Vida and my mother leaving all, all, all over again. But I don't remember the dream ever ending that way before. Is this what I think it is? Daydream. Wishes of a witch. After the war ended, I traveled across the land with Selene as a wandering witch. 
We spent several months ensuring that all the spirit veins had returned to normal in the wake of the Great Twilight. And partway through our mission, we returned to Aaron to report on our progress. But little did we expect what we'd find there. I hope you have a very good explanation for this. You never told me that my mother had another diary. Don't expect me to back you up here, Rose. Emma's got every right to be annoyed. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. You haven't been an errand for quite some time, and you must be tired. How about I make some of my... Grandmother? I wasn't trying to hide from you as such. It's just that it's no ordinary diary, so I wouldn't put it out... So I put it out of the way where you wouldn't find. In other words, you hid it from me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I swear you were a paleontologist with all the skeletons in your closet, woman. I couldn't agree more. Vita Clotilde, the Azure Abyss. Vita. Hello, you two. What are you doing here? You've been missing since the war ended. Exactly. Things just pop up like it's the most natural thing in the world. Well, I wasn't expecting fate to draw me here either. Care to explain how a diary my master wrote during her travels ended up here? We were told that her death was an accident in an unknown location. What are you keeping from us? Very well, I can see there's no getting out of this. This all began two and a half years ago, not long after you left the village for the academy, Emma. One day an owl appeared, parcel in tow. Opened it and found a diary and a brief message saying to give it to you when the time is right. Wait. Which is the Middle Ages used to communicate using owls? And his soul is familiar was a white owl to boot. Indeed, though hers was not the owl that came to me. I can only assume she gave those items to it just before her passing. Evidently, there was more to her final journey than she told any of us. Because it seems that the pages of that diary will only come to bear the truth when you take it to a specific location. That explains why most of the pages are blank. You couldn't be a bit more precise. A specific place doesn't help us much. I would if I could. I know a little more about all this than you do. Still, now that I told you this much, can you also say that you wouldn't have, had, have become preoccupied with this if you had found out just before banishing the Twilight? Well? Alright, I'll spare you my wrath this time. Still, I can't believe it happened upon this the moment the Twilight ended. I'm sure that was no coincidence. I imagine she influenced the laws of causality with her magic so that you would find it when you were ready. She really did do. She really did go to a lot of work here. I'd expect no less from the witch I respect above all others. Hey, I'm right here, you know. So if I can read this, I can finally find out more about my mother. If we can find out where we're supposed to take it, at least, this is going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Allow me to save you the trouble. A wolf! Zeit, long time no see, my comrade. Several hundred years, I believe. I was not aware that you'd regress so much physically. Did you have to bring that up? Wait, if you've known her grandmother for that long, then you must be the divine wolf who once watched over the Septarian of Crossbell. What? Things seem to have been unsettled in Crossbell ever since the war ended. Does that relate to why you were outside of it all? Outside of it at all? Indeed, that is one reason I've been traveling around the continent. Well, on my journey, I happened to find something strange, something I thought you ought to be informed about. Such as? It so happens that a white rune of some sort appeared in Osgilly the Basin not long ago. One that appears to be of gnomish origin. What? Could that be what we're looking for? Perhaps the diary is responsible. Sounds like it's worth looking into either way. It does. Although as much as I'm itching to go straight away, we don't know what might be waiting for us there. We should prepare ourselves before we set off. I shall accompany you after letting the villagers know that I'm leaving. You haven't been here in some time, Vita. You should at least say hello to everyone. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. Once we made the rounds, we should head for the teleportation circle at the village center. So I was not expecting a playable segment here. Magic Staff Merceberg. Huh. Clay your headband and lock it. Like, this is what I put on Yuna, and why is it here? Bewitching Grianos. So yeah, you can see that's different Master Quartz here. Because I gave her the one that has one spell of every element. Kate Sith. Just 
just peek inside the atelier to see if anything's here. Not seeing any dots on the second floor. You can go in on that catwalk, widow's walk, or you're gonna call her balcony deck thing over here. Yeah, it has been too long since I visited the witch's village. That. Then we ought to be showing you around. There is much to see. You come too, Vita. If only to say hello to everyone who's missed you. No need to twist my arm. I sort of wanted to see if anything's changed. So this blue wolf is an acquaintance of Rose's, eh? I practically jumped on my skin when you were running by. My apologies. And you can talk? Do you have a Rose and Selene sort of deal going on? I'm not from here, so I'm still figuring out how all this magic stuff works. Anyway, welcome to Aaron Village. Don't hesitate to give me a holler if there's anything you ever need. I was wondering who was up in the manor, but I hardly expected to be you, Vita. You were always one for dropping unannounced. I know you got your reasons, but I think it'd do you good to visit a bit more often. From what I hear, Emma has scolded you for banning the village enough for all of us and then some. We all know how hard you work to stop the tragedy of the Twilight from spreading. Emma certainly gave me an earful and a half. Can't possibly imagine when or where that cute child from my memories developed such a nasty temper. You can't, Vita? You have no idea why I developed a temper? Anyway, I'm grateful for the welcome. Thank you, Lise. I went upstairs. I have not seen any dots. Like, personally, I think Vita's a little too underdeveloped. With how long they stretch Cold Steel into being, like, she should be the most developed Anguise by far. There's no reason to enter the storehouse. And her, like, the next most developed one would be Maria Bell, and even she's a little on the light side, the whole alchemist thing. Like, we could have definitely used a little bit more where we tried to learn about her past, how she uncovered the alchemy stuff, that type of thing. Leaving already, Emma? But you just got here. You've got Miss Rose with you, too. And Miss Vina, and a wolf, apparently? Sorry to surprise you, but we got a little errand to run. Wish you could take you take me to see the outside too. We're working hard with sis. Can I get out for just a little bit? Don't be in such a rush, child. Calm yourself as I understand it. Both you and your sister will soon be done with your training. Really? Did you hear that, El Barreo? It'll finally be our time to show the world what we can do for real. We've got quite the challenging final exam to pass first, of course. Come on, Miss Rose, way to get her hopes up. Guess that means we still got a ways to go, huh? Reminds me of Emma when she was their age. Actually, now that I look at it, her dress clips through the bench and it has the whole hovering thing going on. And yeah, I'm trying to position the camera so you can see the dress without looking up it. That's Rose's Atelier. I guess they kept the interactions with Vita to a minimum, though, because they're... F I don't even know if they have the whole Grandmaster storyline fleshed out, or if they were afraid she might have given some sort of clue to something else, but it's just weird. Is that who I think it is, Rose? That's right, he's the one I've spoken of. This is Zeit, an acquaintance from my younger days. I believe it's been a few centuries since we last met. Just as I thought, this is the Divine Wolf from your tales. My stars, he's even more splendid in person. I have to take note of everything that happens today in the village's records. Please, I hardly think his appearance is worth that much fuss. I'm quite splendid myself when I take my original form, I'll have you know. Yeah, yeah, you never lost you at the end of it. You don't have to go and throw a tantrum, you know. Huh, there's a lot less people here than I remember there being. Oh, are you heading to the hot springs? Before you go, would you like to see the new talent Loki's been practicing? Come on, show them the Granny Rose impression you were just practicing. And how is that thing supposed to do an impression of me, exactly? Curiosity is killing me, but I'm a little scared at the same time. A fairy spring. I've seen a few like these in Crossbell. I heard they installed a spa in the Uptown District. I'd certainly love to take a dip in this one, though. Let's. I'm itching to see for myself how much you two have blossomed as grown women. Grandmother! 
Only creeps say that kind of thing. Wait, this side is the men's dressing room. Makes no difference to me. I swear, will you ever act your age? Why is girls night out with these three always feel like babysitting? Much better now. Should I be worried that that just maxed everything? All right. We can't depend on the Orville factory. This is where the other people probably are that I was thinking of. Welcome. Well, if it isn't Vita, paying us a little visit. You brought a mysterious furry friend with you, too. Is something the matter? Oh no, we're just here on a little errand. It's nothing you should worry about, Gandalf. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. You're in good company and all. If everything's fine and dandy, I'll leave you to it. Take care, okay? Just need to yell Merlin's better and then slam the door. Welcome to oh my. If it isn't Vita, welcome home, dear. Surprised? I thought I'd come by for a bit. I see you brought with you quite the guest. I doubt that's just a friendly visit, though. Are you in the middle of something? Yes, before we can't stay here for long. We'll need to get moving soon. That means that we're just here for some preparations. Aaron is perfectly safe. Oh? Anyhow, since you're kind enough to pay us a visit, I can't have you leaving empty handed. Take this with you. Spirit incense. Thank you, or how's her name supposed to be pronounced? Owl or something like that. This should come in handy. Think nothing of it, Rose. Taking care of you all is part of my job. Is it Ole? Ole? Very well then. Emma, Selene, make sure to look after everybody, yes? I'm sure they'll be fine as long as you two are there, but it never hurts to be careful. Leave it to us. Shouldn't the duty of protecting the others fall on I, the eldest of this party? You should ask yourself that question, Rose. I believe you already know the answer. Doing well, my listeners? Misty here, and tonight I'm taking Aubin time on the road. Where? The hometown of yours truly. I'm visiting someone who used to keep me out of trouble. You have to record your show now. Try not to give hints that'll give us away. I sense you teleported back into the village, but... Sure was expecting you to have the gall to show up at my house, Vita. What's that you were messing around with earlier? Recording something? Just a little side job I picked up, nothing you need to concern yourself with. It has certainly been a while, Miss Dahlia. We didn't get to talk much last time, but I heard you got yourself a new pupil. I lived a little shortly after Yasula passed away, but I learned quite a lot in the short time you had me under your wing. I'm looking forward to seeing what that birdling grows into. I suppose I have you to thank for that. This one actually listens to me, unlike you. It makes things a lot easier. I heard you went into hiding after the Great Twilight, but I see you're just fine. And what brings you here, but try to show up now every now and then, yeah? I'll see what I can do. No signs of monsters in the forest. I'm sensing something coming from the village. Its man is almost as plenty as roses. Wait, what? Could that be the source staring me right in the face? My apologies, I didn't mean to startle you. This wolf is none other than an old friend of mine. He won't gobble you up, rest assured. Good to know. I'm sorry I reacted like that. It was very rude of me. It's amazing how you can already sense such a thing with that crystal ball of yours. Looks like your studies are paying off. I sense an incredible witch in the making. Keep the hard work, I'm rooting for you. Thanks, Emma. I'm gonna keep practicing every day. Beyond here is just some open lots outside the village. I doubt there's anything for us there. Dang it. Uh, 
assume we've got everything we need. Let's go. We use long range teleportation magic to jump to the Oscillia of the Basin. And this is what we found there. Well, this looks like the place. This must be where Sola hid the truth. I certainly can't imagine a new spirit shrine showing up right now to be a mere coincidence. Mom's diary. It's reacting to the shrine. Isola must have created it with her magic. So she really did plan for this place to appear as soon as that diary was found. An elaborate undertaking, to say the least, and so very in character for Isola. You have her thanks for telling us about this site. Not all. There's no imposition. The rest is in your capable hands. I know a little about what's happening, but I wish you well, and now I shall take my leave. He's changed, that one. Never would have pictured him helping others more than absolutely necessary. For a holy beast, he seems awfully devoted to liberating Crossbell. He and his people have been to Gehenna and back by all accounts. I'd expect as much after all that. Well, Emma, found your nerve? Of course, we're going inside. Can't pass up an opportunity to finally learn what happened to my mother. No matter how solemn the truth might be. Honestly. never met the Cecilia person you're all talking about, so I don't have as much of a stake in this as you do. But I'm your guardian, Emma. We'll, set this, we'll see this through to the end together. Thank you, Selene. Naturally, I'll be along for the ride. It was only because of Isola that I first came, I first left the village and came to learn more about the world. So I want to see this through, too. Yeah, I'll be coming as well. Both to watch over the two of you and because I'm Isola's foster mother. The man inside seems completely unlike the mana on the shrines that appeared during the wars. Perhaps owing to a soul having created with her own mana. The fact that this shrine still stands a decade after her passing is a testament to her greatness. Indeed, she was always more adept at using mana than most. Well, shall we get started? Are you ready, Emma? I am. Let's be off. So it's on shot! It's a pet. Eh, that's gonna have to do for a ranged one. Although her assault leaves things to be desired. Okay. Slain it is. Hmm. The structure appears to be simple enough. Simple, yes, but it is a proper spirit shrine. We'll have to approach it as such. Of course. A white feather. Steal yourselves, everyone. We're under attack. It would appear there's a trial before us. Freddy yourself, Emma. I was born ready. Let's begin! <sighs> huh. Free arts. And then the alternative is double damage. Sucks. Take that. So it's on me. 
Those who witness the chanting dance will be inflicted with various ailments. It's all me. Plate? Dance for me! Oh. It's my turn! An ancient magician turned into a mouse-fueled wraith who stalks the living. To break its mask is turned into dust. Here I come! Yes! Strike them! Attack! All right! Dark Blade! have appeared. The contents were designed to reveal themselves as we overcome trials, it would seem. So what's it say? Though. It's a diary that's dated 11 years ago. Something stirs. Something dark and unfathomable om omnipresent in Erebonia's long history. At times, I can sense it in the manner that fills the Empire. None of the stray witches I've consulted can feel it, but I know it can't be my imagination. So, for the sake of my grandmother and all the others at the village who saw me off, and so that my daughter, people, and I can all li keep living together happily, I resolved to look into the matter first by venturing to the spear veins across the land. This is from Mom before she set off on her final journey. So she discerned the existence of Ishmelga's curse before anyone. That's why people for you, and the most capable wandering witch of them all. Whatever the case, it seems we still have ways to go till the heart of the shrine. Assuming there's another trial awaiting us, there may very well be new information as well. Let's keep at it, shall we? You're right. Um. So I'm gonna run back to the recharge thing, top off Emma, and take a break. My voice is starting to give out, so I wanna yeah! pause before it actually fully does. Okay, I ended up being away a lot longer than I thought I would be. I left the game in sleep mode, so just, or not sleep mode, just idle, so don't trust any of the game clock stuff you're trying to estimate for how long the game is, just based off the playlist, roughly, which is going to be agony, I know, because of all the mini-sodes, so to speak, the mini-games, daydreams, what have you. Here's the next fight. We find ourselves in another open locale. So presumably... Hmm, she reached the same conclusion I did. So with the feathers, I'm wondering, is this linked to Griano's? Indeed, I expect this trial's challenge to eclipse that of the prior. We had best not let her guard down. Let's make him regret! I may have already scanned one of these. Yeah, I did. So it's on me, hmm? I should have shown that too. Holy I will go. That thing up. Vita's almost at full. Kind of want to cheap out, to be honest with you. Late. Dance for me. 
Bovine whose body has become a mass of living sapphire that is long forgotten, it's simple life as a cow. Here I, I don't even know why the thing isn't even moving. No pun intended. Ha! It's my turn! Yeah! <laughs> I'm rather worked up! <laughs> Very well. Ha! Nothing for the likes of me. The more time I spent investigating Legends Vol, the more confident I became in my theory. Which concerned the Great One that came to be from our ancestors' conflict. Oh wait, Feather, she has an owl familiar. It's not Grianos, it's the other bird. I was convinced that the ominous blight lurking in the Empire was that very great one. We witches are not involved, which makes the gnomes the most likely suspects. Can't even imagine the devastation that would result from a collision between the Hexen clan and the gnomes. I've been hesitant to tell Grandmother about all this as a result. Neither do I want to trouble my daughter or my people, and so I shall resolve this matter on my own. Lately, however, I feel as though I'm being watched. Perhaps someone has learned to my intentions. I say let them come. I'll gladly be the bait if it leads to information on the gnomes. That silly girl. If only she had more of a penchant for troubling us. This sheds a whole new light on something she once inquired. She asked one day what I knew about the gnomes. I had the answers to her questions at the time. Looking back, this is what led me to look into the black records and the rivalries. Pieces are finally falling into place. She went up against the gnomes alone. Then the real cause for death was... I fear as much myself, but surely all will be revealed when we fill the last pages. Let us press on. I don't want to go all the way back up. I'm also too cheap to spend that. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Why would you even get ingredients here if you can't take it with you? Another open area, which brings us to our next trial. Hmm, those are new. For this moment. We must be especially prudent. Do try and make this entertaining. Stone Guardian left behind by the ancient Zimmerian civilization's mighty arms, Modan Intruders. <laughs> I'm rather worked up. Oh, crap, I was supposed to show that again. So I just it's noticed that did me. heal him at a full. <laughs> How will this feel, I wonder? Chilling, perhaps? Now, turn to ice. Crap. I'll treat you immediately. Thank you. I shall 
go. If you believe, I'll help myself. <laughs> How refreshing. Now! Take this! Finisher? Be gone! Okay, we're in business. I'm going! So that helps replenish her pool. Here I come! Ha! <laughs> Very All well. Alright! There! <laughs> <laughs> A fine performance all around. All information I found on the rivalries in the Gnome's Trail has been erased now. The silver lining, I was able to learn the identity of my pursuer, one Albrick, Chief of the Gnomes. By the sounds of it, he is currently conducting biological research as an executive of some abominable cult. But I've learned that Elberic's true form is an astral body that lives as a parasite in the gnome's descendants. No matter how many times his body is destroyed, he can revive in the body of one of his relatives. But if I do not defeat him now, this world will be engulfed in a war before the seeds of hope can even blossom. I have only one choice. Mom. She must have tried confronting Elberic face to face. I can imagine how that worked out. The Elberic she describes here is likely his previous incarnation. Given this diary's entry date of 11 years ago, that seems consistent with my own knowledge, which is to say the previous Albrick and my mother both fell in battle with one another 11 years ago. I'm so sorry, Emma. It really stings to hear the truth, and yet, I can't help but feel happy to finally have closure. She realized something was wrong before anyone and came within a hair of stopping it. Indeed, she was a truly remarkable person, but I'd expect no less from your mother. I concur, and I can't help but feel encouragement from her discoveries. I nurse me just how deeply indebted to her I was. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Full as the diary may now be, we've still a hitherto unexplored segment of the shrine. And I can sense a great deal of mana further within. Whatever's in there it doesn't seem to be like the trials we faced up to this point. We'd best be careful. That's what you think, but Emma got her closure, so let's go home. Scope's at least decent. Huh. That was kind of them, but we're topped off already. This should be it right here. Are you good to keep going, Emma? Yes. Whatever awaits, I won't run. I'll accept it. And that's why I'm proud to call you my sister. All right, let's go. Well, this is as far as the shrine goes. This particular area feels a little strange. Something's coming. A white owl, could it be? Yes, this is Isola's familiar. I had thought it long gone from this world. It's like a memory brought vividly to the fore. It's a trap. What's happening? I can only assume this is our final trial. Steal yourselves. These denizens of the underworld pose a grave threat. Very well. I shall be your opponent. Play the game venomous, so I'm in a harsh environment. Gets nutrients from human flesh. I shall go. So I kind of wanted to use Lancer here, but. If you believe I'll help myself. How <laughs> refreshing! Hmm. Here I come. Ha! Nope, no unbalance. Unreal man. Vito <laughs> awake, but not frozen either. Huh?
<laughs> you have my thank you. Brianos, be a dear and lend me a hand. Now, finish them off! There! Mine! Fun! A haunting phantom that steals Mora's life force for itself. It shrieks and mobilizes victims with terror. Phantom in search of pure souls to inflict its grudge upon. Those it finds are subject to an unending nightmare. Darn! Too bad. In case you're on what Vita's so uh, on physical me, attack hmm? looked like, there you go. Fear my power! Crimson Lancer! And you get to see the last of their That enemies. was nothing for the likes of me. Go. Brianos, be a dear and lend me a hand. Now, finish them off! Here I come. Shine Apostle of the Heavens, those who dis disturb the corridor are met with the scorching flames of judgment. I'm going! Analyzing enemy. The Shine Apostle of the Heaven. Okay, freezing ice shards of judgment. Oh. Aren't you charmed, or...? Oh. Here I come! Depths of judgment. <laughs> Thank you. I'll restore you. Thank you. I'm going. Analyzing and holy rays of judgment. It's my turn. Basically, we don't need the points. <laughs> that is the long and the short of it. Yeah! A chance! Take that! 
It's all me. I've shown the prison. I don't remember if I've shown the blades. Blades? Dance for me! There! Mine! I'm so proud to fight with you, Grandmother. Goodness gracious. Why can't you be this sweet all the time, hmm? <laughs> I did it! I continue to impress even myself. <laughs> I still have room to grow. <laughs> I'm just that good. Okay. This one seems worth picking on. So be it. Hmm, no imbalance. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Very well. Brianos. from the Myers of Gehenna. It breathes fire hot enough to melt steel armor and its claws tear souls to shreds. There! No poison. It's my turn! Analyzing enemy... A high-ranking devil called from Gehenna. It attacks... It attacks with its sharp claws and powerful arts. Fuck! Sadly, I don't have a way to interrupt. Intelligent Delta that can use its arts and is drawn to mana. Its poisonous claws tear, tear armor apart. A fine mess this is! Here I come! And just like that, everyone gets a second wind. It's all me. <laughs> How will this feel, I wonder? Chilling, perhaps? Now, turn to ice. Well, one's burning and the other one's that. Here I come. Must 
this is. All right. <laughs> you have Here my now. Survives the 200. Huh. To the Aria of the Abyss! Humankind are evildoers, shackled by emotion. Fury, misery, agony, enmity. Behold, for it longs to be forever at your side! <laughs> Let's not be stubborn. Moonlight veiled in dust. Lend me your power! Burn to ashes! Bewitching Blood Moon! Dear me! Finished already? I continue to impress even myself. <laughs> I still have room to grow. <laughs> I'm just that good. That was close. That's the final trial done and dusted. I'd say we pass with flying colors. It's resonating? So it seems. I sense there's a message for us. Let's hear it then. Emma. Mother? You found me, didn't you, Emma? I am so proud of the exceptional witch you've no doubt become. I'll admit it may have been a little mean of me to test you like this, but I knew you would rise to the challenge. Are we communicating with the past? No, that's not it. It's a projection, created by her familiar's lingering thoughts. I'm about to face the Chief of the Gnomes. I know this battle is destined to end in our mutual demise, but I must see it through. This I have learned by peering into the future. This very act is taboo. In doing so, I have meddled with the threads of fate. Yet I feel no regret in learning how my life ends. Because I know this will lead to a better future. Not just for my beloved daughter, but for all the Empire. <laughs> None of this was any reason to willingly throw your life away! All I wanted was to have you there with me. We could have found a better future together. So why? Why did you have to... I'm sure you're standing there raising your objections, wailing and cursing my choice. I am so sorry for leaving you on your own, Emma. I won't ask you to forgive me. You have every right to hate me for what I did. But I want you to know... But the days I spent with you were my greatest treasure. That's why I'll do anything to secure you a future where you can live unburdened, happy. I will fall with the Chief and alter fate, so that those destined to one day face Ishmelga will have a fighting chance. I'm so sorry for asking so much of you, Grandmother. Thank you for raising Emma into such a fine young woman. May you live a long, happy life after your mission is over. <laughs> Silly fool. I'll live enough for the both of us. That's a promise. You must be there too, right, Vita? There's a lot that not even I can see about the road you have chosen. But you should know that everyone loves you more than you realize. So, 
rein in those reckless impulses, huh? I'll come back and haunt you if you make Emma cry too much. <laughs> Always with a sense of humor. I'll try, Master. I'd be a lousy excuse for a student if I didn't. I'd also like to say something to Emma's new familiar, Celine. Me? You'll have a lot to shoulder with all the trouble the girls will give you. Emma, Grandmother, and Vita. Everyone I wanted to be there for, you'll be there in my stead. Knowing they have you gives me the strength and clarity I need to walk this solemn road. Thank you so much. You've got it. Leave everything to me. Finally, to my dear Emma. I had a good look at what the future has in store for you. You will throw yourself headlong into your studies, then leave the village to carry out your duties as a witch. You will find fulfillment and friends in the halcyon days of school life, affection overflowing. And despite many a worry along the way, you will become a fine witch, capable of saving the Empire from the Great Twilight. Oh, how I wish I could hear stories of your exploits, relishing in the emotion dancing in the light of your eyes. But I am content, simply knowing what a wonderful journey lies in wait for you. Oh, oh Mother! I am certain beyond doubt that you've no shortage of things you now hold dear. Connections that can weather any storm. Always follow your heart, Emma. The world needs you and your power. But that you already know. I'll be rooting for you. Now and forever. As much as I hate to leave you, it seems I'm out of time. So goodbye, everyone. I love you. No! Thank you, Mother. I love you, too. Oh, Spirit Shrine's gone. I feel almost sad to see it disappear. But it, suc it successfully served its purpose. This is the best outcome for everyone. I suppose you're right. You sure are looking brighter, Emma. You think? If I am, it's because I finally have the resolve to follow my heart. Oh? This relates to what Isola said before she disappeared, I assume. Yes, she gave me just the encouragement I needed. When my current journey is over, I intend to leave the Empire. My wanderings will take me far beyond this land I've always known, across the entire continent, for I want to protect it all. What? Well, that's quite the lofty goal. Trust me, I know. But as we traveled around and met people of all stripes in our fight against the Great Twilight, I found myself thinking. Zamuri has faced all kinds of supernatural crises. The Oriole in the world, the Azure Train Crossbill, and plenty more on our home soil. Then there's the Blazing Demon, who supposedly came from a different world entirely. It all made me realize that there is so much I do not know about what lies beyond the Empire's borders, and so much I could help with. So from now on, I don't want to live in the shadows of Erebonian history. I want to see all creation with my own two eyes. Sounds like a fine dream to me, one I can enthusiastically support. I remember being surprised at just how big the content was when I joined the society. There's so much you can learn from wandering the world, and above all, it's fun to be free. Says the local orchard's poison apple. At this point, I think any further effort to obfuscate our existence from the world after the Great Twilight would be a waste. I'm also certain that you would never use magic for evil, unlike a certain other witch I could name. Still, if you left the Empire, that would mean I can no longer watch over you. Ultimately, I'm not sure if I can sign off on this with a clear conscience. That just sounds like you don't want her to leave the nest. Don't worry about her so much. She'll be fine. I'll be with her wherever she goes. Shenanigans. I call shenanigans. Why do you get to be with her and I don't? I'm not planning to leave the Empire just yet, Grandmother. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. 
On that note, I think it's about time I depart. Emma, Selene, I look forward to seeing you both again one day. Oh, and Grandmother, do make sure you exercise from time to time, or you'll put on weight before you know it. Mind your own business, you brazen hussy. I hope I see you again soon, too, Vita. Take care of yourself. And she was never heard from again. I kid. I see she still doesn't know how to keep that mouth of hers shut. But she does seem to have become more personable since I last saw her. Maybe the end of the Great Twilight signal to start something new for her. Perhaps so. It's not as though everything is suddenly back to how it used to be, but she did remind me of the old Vita today. That she did, sass and all. Well, shall we make our way back to Aaron? I think we should. We haven't finished cleaning your room yet. Who knows what other secrets are waiting to be found in there. There aren't any, I swear, that I remember. Says the one who is hiding a literal magic diary of life-changing importance. I say we tear the room apart. I'll start. And there you go. Wish the Witch concluded. Dazzling Fenrir Gem. Various towels. Serene Blessing 2 is now Crescent Blessing. We'll need to look and see what that does while I still remember using it recently. Cat's crawling up into the microphones, just a heads up. Daydream 4 fulfilled. Um, Fenrir. Eh. I'm using one on someone, I just don't know who. Actually, it's probably someone I picked up. That's Laura back there. Arios, perhaps? No. Elephant? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, if it wasn't Aurelia, then I don't know. Oh well. So, uh, let's go claim the reward. I don't think I have enough RP for anything, but, uh... Another mission down. Central core activated. Confirming rank points accumulated. Liberation rank unchanged. <laughs>